Are you new to Mister and looking for the best video settings? Or maybe you've had your Mister for a while and you've heard some buzz about 5X scaling but never had time to look into it. If either of these applies to you, stay tuned as we discuss 5X scaling and take a look at it. So I will admit, I've had my Mister for a while and I've heard the buzz about 5X scaling but not owning a RetroTINK 5X or OSSC, I really didn't know what I was missing. I looked for it in the core menus, but didn't really see any hint at 5X scaling, so just kind of brushed it off. There's some steps involved to enable it, and it's not really intuitive, but once I got it set up and running, it was a game changer. No more black border, nice big, vertical full screen so let's get this set up so the first issue is people setting up their mister are usually using older guides that have you enable integer scaling in the ini file this was fine back in the day but you cannot run 5x scaling with this scale mode set to integer scale from my understanding recent updates have allowed cores to run independently integer scaling regardless of what the ini file says the second issue is how to even find 5x scaling once we have the correct INI settings. We go into the core menu, we go to audio and video, we don't see any 5 scaling options. That's because it's not named 5x scaling. It's called vertical crop and as you can see this one's grayed out and we cannot change the attributes because we did not change the INI file, it's still set to integer scale. So let's go ahead and jump into a game in the NES core and take a look at how this will look at 4X scaling, which is what you're gonna be running at using integer scale unless you specifically force it into 2X or 3X mode. Let's wait to get past this intro. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks good, but you have a huge black border top and bottom just taking up a lot of graphical real estate. We need to use that, we need to get that back. This is all subjective, but I want that 5X, so let's jump out of here and get it. So we've rebooted back in scripts. We're gonna change the V scale to zero, or scale to fit. This is gonna allow us to enable that 5X scaling and get that full vertical screen real estate. The only downside is back in the day, CRTs had a little overscan area at the top, bottom, and sides. It was often used to just display garbage or game makers didn't even really keep important information in these areas because overscan settings may vary from CRT display to CRT display. So you're only gonna be cutting off just a tiny little portion of that overscan area Nothing vital is going to be there. You're not going to miss anything. You may have to adjust the screen up or down a hair, but that's all easy to do. So here we've jumped back into the NES core, playing some Castlevania. If we jump into the menu, go to audio and video, you can now see we have 5X scaling and we have a crop offset that will adjust your screen up and down. You have scale modes. I think normal and V integer is the same. I think it defaults to V integer when it's in normal, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% positive about that. Yeah, we got full vertical real estate being utilized on the screen. Looks much better. Scan lines look good. Nothing funny going on there. Uh, wait till we get into the castle here. You can see the full vertical scale effect. Oh yeah. And that's all there is to it. It's just a little obscure and unintuitive on how to go about getting this enabled. But go ahead and look at another game or two, and then I'll throw some comparisons up. Got some Super Mario Bros. Looking good in all its pixelated glory. Nothing really important. There ain't really nothing cut off top or bottom. This 5X just works so well for most of these cores. I haven't found one I didn't like. I think I had to shift the Neo Geo a little bit. Other than that, works out great. You might notice severe audio delay. That issue's been fixed. I had a garbage USB port, but I don't feel like uh, recapturing all this footage. Make sure you enable 5X in each core. 
and save the settings, save your core settings. Here you can see me playing around with that crop offset. I noticed them waves were not showing. PC Engine and Turbo Graphics were always super colorful, but it's really vibrant on the Mister. And I will leave you guys with various comparison clips from different games comparing 5X scaling on and off. Um, like I said earlier, this is all subjective. This is what works for me. 5X scaling works great with 1080p or 4K monitors, displays, TVs whatever you're running because it's an integer of 240p or 240p ish resolution so it scales well at 5x um, if you're running like a 720p display this probably won't work for you anyway I'm sure I screwed some info up in this video I'm not claiming to be an expert on this um, if you disagree with anything just leave a comment let me know that's gonna wrap this one up don't forget to like and subscribe Rise from your grave. from your grave. Welcome to your doom.
戦開始